Hi guys, so today I am not in my usual spot, obviously. I'm currently dog sitting, so I'm at the owner's house and not at my house. So I have a bit of a different background where you don't see my K-pop posters and my purple wall and everything. So sorry about that, but we have to talk about Heart Signal. We just have to. It is episode 11 and I believe there's going to be 13 episodes. I'm not sure though. Let me know if I'm wrong. But last season, there were 16 episodes total, but two reunion episodes. And then the first season, there were 14 episodes, but one reunion episode. So I think we're doing 13 still. Um, and P.O. also said that we had less than two weeks left. So I think that we only have two more episodes left, maybe. I think there's going to be a big date one next episode. And then the like final episode is going to be picking who we're going to call and who we're going to want to be with in the end. So... This is crazy, we're coming to the end. But at the end of this review, I think I'm going to be talking a little bit about the final couples that I think are going to happen. Couples who I think everyone's gonna choose at the end because I definitely don't think it's gonna be coupled up at all. They're, it's definitely not gonna be four pairs, that's for sure. But anyways, let's get into this video. We have a lot to talk about. First, I'm gonna start off with the most boringest people, which is Jihyun and Kangil. Um, these two, <laughs> no offense to them, but they're basically, they're, ba I think they're basically set. Like, I really don't think, Kangil's obviously not changing at all. And Jihyun, I think her only concern about, towards Inu, is that she feels bad because he still likes her and she doesn't feel the same way. And that, I think, is the only grief she has about liking Kangil. I think she's pretty much all for Kangil at this point. Like, like yes, Kangil got to Jihyun before Inu did, but Jihyun also didn't say that she was, like, going out with Kangil. I don't know if she was allowed to say it, because I'm not really sure about the rules, because they were all in Korean. But Jihyun never said, she just said she had a prior engagement. She didn't say she was going on a date with Kangil. And man, when Inu finds out, he might already know, actually. But... <laughs> When Inu finds out, I'm gonna be in trouble. But yeah, they're basically the boringest ones. I'm pretty sure they're gonna pick each other at the end, so not that much to say with those guys, but there's a lot to say with some other people. Alright, next I'm gonna talk about my baby, which is We Dong. And y'all, I'm still not convinced. <laughs> I'm still not convinced Anna likes We Dong that much. Let's talk about the pool date, the billiards date with Hangyo, Rudong, Minjae, and Anna. Loved this date, super cute. I love all the people on this date pretty much. We we got to see Rudong being confident in his pool skills because he was literally the only one who knew how to play pretty much. And I just loved seeing him in his element and him and Minjae were so stinking cute. I'm not too sure if they're still a possibility at this point. They might just be good friends. I don't know. Like if they're gonna be a twist couple, I hope it's them. Um, But at this point, I'm not too sure because we don't seem pretty set on Anna and Minjae seems pretty set on Hongil, but I don't know. And I did agree with the celebrity panelists on this one where um, when I was watching Lidong teach Minjae pretty much how to play pool and you could just see on her face she was just like he was supposed to be my man's like why are you like all up in his grill like like who is this and Hangyul also kind of looked disappointed and then they went to the restaurant and Lidong gave Anna an egg which is like there weren't a lot of eggs so him giving you an egg is like really nice or whatever and then she cuts the egg in half and gives him the other half which is super cute but I don't know if that means she's burdened by him like doting on her basically or if she's just trying to like show that she cares back. Hangil is also like hyping up Wudong. I don't know if Hangil's like not really one to lie, especially when it comes to like Wudong. Like I genuinely think Hangil was just being honest about how Wudong is in order to make Anna like feel something towards him. Like he probably feels bad <laughs> because the, no none of the girls have showed interest in him so far. Um, and Anna's like kind of Ridong's last hope at finding any kind of love. And you know, I think Hangyo was just trying to help him in that aspect. But I don't think he was exaggerating at all or just like being his hype man in general. Like, I think he was just being truly honest. Like, Ridong is a good guy. Like, ladies, 
get it together. <laughs> I think it's also really funny that we don't absolutely know what is going on in the house. Like him describing everyone's like emotions was like on point. <laughs> like he's just so in tune with everyone. Also, but like Anna confuses me a lot. Like when they were asking her about the tickets, I definitely think like she said that her two, like the two she picked to give her tickets to were like someone she thought she'd get along well with and then someone she thought she'd just have fun with. Like, it's just suspicious to me. I definitely think the first one is Weezong and then the having fun is Kongyo because Kongyo like literally never shuts up. There's nothing like there, like, I don't know. I just don't know if she's vibing yet. And the part where she was talking about like, I'm not, a, she was like, I thought I was honest, but I'm not. I kind of interpreted that as, she doesn't like Weedong as much as he likes her. And I definitely agree with the panelists on this one that Weedong just needs to like kind of let go, you know? Like he's given her all of this attention. He's he's pretty much made his feelings clear. Now it's basically just up to her to figure out whether or not she actually likes him. And I don't think he needs to be pushing it anymore and like burdening her anymore. He did ask her out on the date, but like nobody else was going to like we all knew i'm sorry if you hear this dog he's scratching his back on the car <laughs> um but like we all knew kongil was going to ask out jihyun so like i mean if i like i don't know this is just kind of his chance to be like yo do you like me or not and her be like yes or no like give him a straight answer basically but i don't think that's gonna happen I think that um, that girl, I can't remember, the girl with the short hair, I can't remember her name, but she was like, um, the guy that Anna's interested in likes someone else, so there's a low possibility that he'll ever like her, and she, and Anna knows that, and like, that is so true. I'm just not sure, like, if she does pick Weezong in the end, I really don't think anything real would ever come with it, not that I expect realness to come out of this show. If we're meant to believe that they stay together, or like, at least date somewhat after the end of the show, then like, I'm not believing it with this couple, like, at all. I'll just, I'll just move to Korea. I literally love him so much, <laughs> like, it's not even funny, it's not a joke. He's literally, I follow him on Instagram. Like, he's my favorite. But maybe after the date, she'll like actually like fall for his charms because he is an actually sweet and caring person. <sighs> Unlike Hangyul. Okay, now I'm going to talk a little bit about Minjae and Hangyul. I kind of mentioned them in the section about Weedong and Anna. Um, but just to reiterate a little bit, Hangyul, I think, was jealous during like the billiard game. But that also could be because kind of similar to Anna's situation, Minjae's always been for Hangyul, just like Weedong's pretty much always been for Anna since Anna came in. And I think when people, when that happens in shows like this, the people who are liked, so like Anna and Hangyul, the people who are liked, can tend to take it for granted the people who have crushes on them. Like, oh, like this person will always have a crush on me. Like they'll probably like never like change their mind. And I think as soon as a threat comes in, just like Kangil did with Jihyun, like as soon as a threat comes in, it's like, wait a minute, they were my people, they were always with me, but now this new person's come in and like it, they've changed their mind, like what? Like that's not fair. And then I, in some cases it brings them back to the person that has a crush on them and then they're like, hey, I actually do like you. Um, and then in some cases, like maybe not, but I think here that's kind of what's happening. You have a little bit of jealousy going on between Hangyul being jealous of Weedong and Minjae's like friendship basically. Because Hangyul I think is still awkward with Minjae a little bit. I don't know if it's just because Minjae is so shy around him or like what, but Minjae is like not shy around Weedong really. Like she's just like Jay chilling around him. So I don't know if like that's what's going on, but the two definitely seem awkward. And then when they were at the restaurant, Hangyul was talking about someone confusing him or like causing problems. And like, they were like, is that person here? Like, is that person among us? And I, it might be, it might be Minjae because he kind of feels like loyalty to her because she's always liked him. So he kind of feels like he has to choose her because he kind of like blew her off in the beginning and then that backfired. So now I feel like he kind of, he wants to give it a try with Minjae, but I'm not too sure if that's happening, you know? I'm sorry, P.O. I know he ships them, but I'm not too sure if they're gonna like stick it out. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, he definitely likes Gon. I don't care what anybody says. He likes Gon. Like, he's at least a little bit interested in her. Like, 
he even said like he had two what are they called heart he had two heart fluttering moments min jay and gone and i definitely think it's a possibility that those two could get together last minute so han gil does ask min jay on a date which i mean they've never been on a proper date before so maybe this could be like the deciding factor in who han gil picks in the end um, he seems to have hung out with Gon a lot and he went on a date with Gon, so he does know a lot about her. So we'll have to see how this plays out in the end. But Minjay likes Hangyul, Hangyul likes Gon and Minjay, so it's a bit of a problem. And finally, we're going to be talking about Inno and Gon, our last couple that went on the bowling date. I don't know, man. I don't know. So I guess we can start off with, towards the beginning of the episode, we don't want when he was discussing like, all the stuff that goes on in the house. He says, at the beginning, gone liked Inu, but now she's not trying as hard, so I'm not sure. Which I can definitely see that. I can definitely see that. Inu has like basically blown her off too many times and Gon's just kind of like with him now. Like she just kind of just doesn't care. Gon, at this point, Gon knows that she is not Inu's first choice. And like that's gonna hurt somewhat. Like even if Inu like comes back to Gon and is like, I like you again like she knows at that point it's simply because Jihyun doesn't want Inu she wants Kangyo so is it even worth it at that point but I think Gon not trying as hard is gonna do that jealousy effect thing that I talked about previously where Gon's always been for Inu but now she's like I'm not anymore man you're kind of like don't care about me so I think that that is going to bring that plus Jihyun and Kangyo getting together is going to bring Inu towards Gon, but is it going to bring Gon to Inu? That I'm not sure. Um, but they're pretty cute on this date. <laughs> Gon was, she sassed him. She was at the beginning. She was like, "Don't you want to be on a team with Jihyun?" <laughs> like, Inu kind of deserved that one though. I'm not gonna lie. And then they were like high fiving each other and stuff, but. And like that was cute but we all knew Inu wanted to be on the team with Jihyun and Inu also said that he had two heart fluttering moments um during this season basically and we all know who that is it's Gon and Jihyun so he admits that he kind of likes Gon I mean he's pretty much always said I like Gon and Jihyun but Jihyun just like a little bit more but like dude you can't date both of them so you have to make a choice um but Jihyun's kind of making that choice for him because she is pretty totally into Kongil at this point um and so I think that this is going to push Inu towards Gon I mean even him trying to ask out Jihyun backfired and he was left in the house alone with Gon and Songmin says at this point if I was Inu I would just accept it like I'm supposed to be with Gon like I don't understand like what is so great about Jihyun like compared to Gon like they're both like trying to be like doctors i mean gone's trying to be like a animal doctor but still doctors they're both pretty same age they're both in school like i don't understand and it, like either way you get amazing women like i don't understand <laughs> like just go with gone this man <laughs> but i think basically even and because gone picks hongil at the end of this episode i think that Gon is like pretty much done with Inu at this point and she just went on a date with him because she was bored and she doesn't hate his company so but now I think what did I I wrote down some couples that I think are gonna happen at the end this is probably gonna change next week so don't hold me to this but yeah let's see what I said I wrote it down on my laptop so these are not completely done because I'm kind of like don't know what they're gonna do at this point but I think the dates might help clear this up. So first we have Inu. He's gonna pick either Jihyun or Gon, depending on what he's feeling that day. I'm rosing him so much, but like I feel bad for him because he's just not good at romance. He's like 30 something and he's like, doesn't, and like he's done everything else in life, but like had a solid girlfriend. So I kind of just feel bad for him at this point. <laughs> but anyway, my second one is Hangyul, and I think Hangyul's gonna either pick Minjae or Gon, depending on how Minjae and Hangyul's date go. But even at the end of next episode, we might not even know. Like, like, there's been seasons where people pretty much change their opinions on the final episode. Like, uh, we don't know anything. We don't, 
he's gonna pick Anna. Like, there's no question about it in my mind right now that he's gonna pick Anna. Unless Anna straight next episode straight up tells him, I don't like you. <laughs> he's, he's gonna pick Anna. Um, I think Kangula and Jihyun are gonna pick each other at this point, and they're pretty much gonna be a pair. Gan is either gonna pick Hangula or Inu, but I'm pretty much leaning towards her picking Hangula at this point, just to basically spite Inu, which has happened before in the past. Minjay, I think she's pretty much set on Hangul. She's been set on Hangul the entire season. She's gonna pick him in the end. And Anna, I think actually might pick Kangul. Um, I don't know. I think it kind of depends on how their date goes again. Um, I think the date, the final dates are pretty much deciding factors in the show, like who's gonna pick who in the end. The final dates are pr the most important ones. But yeah, those are my final predictions. Let me know what you guys are thinking below. Um, I'm pretty like dumb, so <laughs> I'm open to any suggestions <laughs> or theories on who you think is gonna pick who and what is gonna be the ending. But yeah. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so, so much for watching and be sure to like, comment what you think of this episode and who you think is going to get together. And don't forget to subscribe. I make these reviews every single week. I upload them on Tuesdays and I do it for every single Heart Signal episode. I don't know what I'm going to do after this. Probably just return to my usual content. Um, unless you guys have any suggestions. I was thinking about watching Island, but that's going to overlap with Heart Signal, I think. So... I don't know. Let me know what you guys think below. See you guys next week.